hours on this deserted island up ahead. I have a film crew, it's just one guy, but we're gonna call it the film crew. I have the film crew being sent out there with me. I brought all the necessities, all the necessities and stuff right here. But that, that's for the film crew. Me, I'm going up pure instinct and pure survival for the next 24 hours. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it out alive and make it off this island. 24 hours from now, Robbie or Arthur or some other stranger that knows how to navigate a marine vessel will come get us. Uh, if we're alive, hopefully, and we'll make it off the island. Like, they're like, we're trying to make a YouTube video too. 24 hours surviving on a deserted island. We're like, come on, bro. We didn't really expect any visitors out here. We chose Monday for a reason because it would have been the less populated day. Looks like we have a few visitors. I guess we just have to uh, gonna show up and tell them, not tell them, but show that, you know, we're staying here, we're setting up camp. We're here for a long time. Don't let them take you for long. However, you guys wanna do it, if you guys can just get off and go. Oh, that's not that bad. I was thinking it was going to be like an actual swim. You want to take the camera too, or are you just taking the beers? Oh, Tyler getting in. Robbie dropping us off. All right, Robbie, you out? Yeah, I'm out. All right. Any any last any advice or any last words? Stay warm, yeah, it'll probably get a little chilly tonight. All right, we'll see you later. We're bringing more people down from up north to Yankees. Are you out of your mind? You're Florida, you know? Oh yeah, I've been, I lived here my whole life. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Brooksville? Yep, yeah. Nice. Oh, man, cool. been here 51 years. Yeah, yeah, I've graduated here, and then I've, yeah, I've, uh, we, we, did too. We, gradu we both graduated yeah. from Hudson High. Oh, okay, yeah. You were Hudson. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Hudson. For the Hudson gang, we give you guys some privacy, all right? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, we didn't mean to intrude oh, on you guys. You go over there in the corner and, and not That's be a bother cool, to you guys. I we apologize. We were just watching. We were just hanging out. I, they, thought, they thought we weren't locals. We are here. We made it to this deserted island in the Gulf of Mexico. Our visitors here, they uh, they thought we weren't locals. Of course we're locals. Here we are for the next 24 hours. The time now is uh, 3.38. So I give it about eight minutes ago. Right exactly at 3.30 is when we were dropped off here on this deserted island. And it seems like our friends are gone. I'm glad they kind of left. All right, there they go. Not a single soul. This is crazy. This is insane. Do you see this, Tyler? This is nuts. It's right? pretty fucking crazy, bro. All right. So the tide is a little high today. That's all right because we plan for all adversity in any kind of situations, whether it's the tide coming up into our camping spot, which I think this is a nice camping spot right here. We also found out adversity through Audi not coming, but it's okay. Shit happens, bro. And if we had to use it, I don't think we're going to have to use that. We'll use our own. See, we got our own fire pit over there. Last time when we were here, like, a week or two ago, I think it was about two weeks ago. The tide wasn't this hot. I met you at Longhorn Steakhouse, and now you're fucking, you're on a fucking deserted island with me. Hey, I'll do anything for some cash, buddy. I'm just hoping the tide doesn't come up overnight while we're sleeping. We do have hammocks, but we, that means we would have to like put all of our belongings in the, in the upper high trees or some shit like that. First order of business, I think we should, we should probably go through our belongings and set up our camp. How to survive on a deserted island for 24 hours. Like I said, my filmer, my film crew, he's the only one that is going to be using the necessities. I may nitpick here and there, you know, I may have a couple brewskis. You he know. ain't touching my shit. For the most part, I'm surviving. I have a machete and I have the resources that Mother Nature is providing with me. Obviously, like I said, we have the machete. Obviously, I have my nifty Hawaiian shirt to get me in the mood. I got another Hawaiian shirt. I got clothes. Just in case it gets a little nippy tonight, it's about to be, it's going to be probably like 65 degrees tonight. It won't be too bad. Marshmallows. I got a cooking pot. Tylenol and Orogel because I've been dealing with a lot of pain in my teeth. I'm going to the dentist on Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. Tons of beer, classic Franks for dinner. 
Plastic Franks for the filmer, not me. Eggs for the filmer, not for me. I, got, I just made sure the filmer was comfortable because that's what matters the most. But I did bring a fishing pole. Robbie actually gave us some bait to use to put on the fishing pole. See if we can catch dinner tonight. He only gave us one or two? Two. Yeah, I thought he gave us two as well. So Man. we're very limited on our on our bait source. I don't know what happened to the other the other fish. Now that we have assessed all of our uh, resources and everything that we did bring with us, I guess our next order of business is gather materials for a fire. I'll be it'll be fine. Oh my god. So we have been here seven minutes away from being an hour. I am bleeding everywhere. I'm bleeding all over the place. I stepped on glass. We tried opening beer, but we didn't have a bottle opener, so we broke it with the machete. Glass broke, and so I had to pour the beer into the fucking pot. And I'm bleeding all over the place. First injury of these, this survival oh, challenge. I'm not gonna let it affect me. Tough as nails. I'm a Florida boy. Those people really thought I wasn't from here. They thought we were some fucking people like visiting or some shit like that. That's not the case, bro. I'm as Florida as it fucking gets. We're out here on a fucking island drinking beer out of a pot. Hey, maybe maybe we don't drink the beers because I see shit at the bottom line and God forbid there's glass. We probably don't want to swallow that. I don't think it's glass. Bro, let's count our losses on the beer. We're not gonna be stopped. Adversity has hit us multiple times already today, and that's not gonna stop us now. Hopefully this does not get infected, but I am a professional. Jesus fucking Christ. I hope this fucking sticks. Alrighty. So, I let that dry up a little bit. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm already injured. My battle points are deducted, but soon over time, just like how it is in Power World, my health will be regenerated. It will be okay. All right. Okay, just gotta make sure we get this burning a little bit. Someone was smoking out here. This is the only exception. You know, I just didn't want to, I don't want to deal with the fucking flint and the bullshit and then the fire and the combustion and the fucking fire starter and all that shit, bro. So we have officially a fire. That's a big thing that a lot of survivors need to worry about is building warmth for a fire. Because tonight, when the sun goes down and it's like nine o'clock at night, it's probably gonna get fucking nippy out here. We're in the middle of the ocean. We're in the, I don't know if you guys really understand that yet. Nobody can hear me out here. Nobody. Listen. Hello! I wish Andrew could have put me in his wedding! Where is Adi? I had hemorrhoids two years ago! No one's hearing me, bro. Let that simmer a little bit. We have this in case anything goes wrong. This is nuts, bro. Oh, you already got this shit all over my fucking foot, bro. Yeah, wash it off in the water. Let's get our shelter set up. Sleeping arrangements, because if we don't have any comfortable sleeping arrangements, this shit is gonna be a nightmare. This island in 2015, 16, we made a video with this Walmart brand beer called Rockdale Light. And it was like the cheapest beer ever. We bought like a 32 pack of this Rockdale Light from Walmart one day. Me, Robbie, and Cole came out and we made this video where I made a bunch of different bits where I was shotgunning a beer in a different way every bit. We actually came to this island and fucking did the Rockdale Light and there was a beer up there in that tree. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, what, are you, uh, what are you looking at? Yo, it's a fucking Rockdale Light. Yo, shit. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a fucking, rock, that's a Rockdale Light. Yo, get that Rockdale Light. Yo, let's go. Let's go. And I posted that bitch on Twitter. That whole Snapchat, it was a Snapchat story. That's when just content didn't exist back then. Virality was just becoming a thing in like the early 2000s, 2010s. Posted that bitch on Twitter and it went kind of viral. That was my first time ever experiencing virality. And I think ever since then, I was, I've was i been kind of just chasing that fucking grab of that virality, you know what I mean? Hammocks. I brought hammocks. I brought three hammocks because I thought, uh, I thought Audie was gonna be with us. He's not dead, but he just ain't here with us. It's all good though, Audie. We love you, bro. This is one from Five Below. These are from Walmart. These are bug net hammocks, bro. These are badass. These are so fucking cool. It's like a zip up net. It's a hammock, but it zips up and it keeps you free of any bugs, mosquitoes, noceums. It's badass. Oh, bro. What the fuck? Hammock bug net. Hammock bug net. This isn't a hammock. It's a hammock bug net. Oh shit, dog! This is a cover that goes over a fucking hammock. Okay, so we have one hammock. I gotta give it to the filmer. I have to give it to the filmer. And then I have a hammock bug net. I'll sleep on the fucking ground. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it, bro. I'll give you the hammock. Filmer gets uh, 
celebrity rule. You're gonna get your own exclusive uh, water hammock. No, we'll we'll have to fi we'll have to figure out. Try and put your weight on it. I guess I don't know. It's already on there, really. I mean, I mean, we could we could keep it there. This is where Tyler is gonna be sleeping. He's the film guy. Filmer priority first. Filmer is the guy you gotta take care of. Hopefully in the future we make millions of dollars off of whatever brand. Maybe it's Get Ricked. Maybe it's Mud River Productions. Maybe it's something else. I haven't found my virginity rocks yet. Hopefully in the future we can uh, appreciate, you know, the filmers every once in a while when I get some money, you know, because I'm broke right now. Damn, bro, we're gonna be up late. I don't think we're gonna be able to sleep. Who's doing this? Who's doing this, bro? Kai Sanat's not doing this. Jinxie from down the road isn't doing this. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Uh, we're gonna use this for bait and try to catch dinner for tonight for myself. Uh, Tyler has the luxury of eating hot dogs and marshmallows and sandwiches for the next 24 hours, but I, I can't. I have to catch my own food. What would 21 Savage do? Oh God. Doing something like this, guys, you gotta be ready for anything. We were supposed to have a third person here. It's okay. I'm not upset. I'm just letting the viewers know we were supposed to have a third person here. Shit happens. It's okay, Audi. Got some fish guts over here. Just rip this completely open. And we're on our way. This is our first step to survival. We are stepping out into the midst of the oceans. Very dangerous. Here we go. Oh. I'm gonna step up a little bit to reel that in. I don't think this is gonna work out too well. So it's been a couple hours. I did bring my pole with me today. Robbie gave us the bait. Yeah, we're not getting anything right now. So, I mean, we've been out here, it's almost shit. I think it's almost like 6.30, 7 o'clock right now. I don't know, we're not catching anything right now. The sun is about to come down. So I think we're gonna take this opportunity to uh, maybe get this fire going a little consistent right now. For food wise, I don't know, bro. Maybe I'll just limit myself to the marshmallows. Ah, I just want you guys to know this situation this item on the bucket list This is really sincere to me. This is really important to me because I feel like I really wanted to show YouTube and whoever is watching my stuff that Nowadays in 2024 you can still be authentic you can still make content with nothing. I'm nothing. I'm not shit. I have over 100,000 followers on all of my platforms combined, and I'm still not shit. I still live paycheck to paycheck. I work a regular job. I just want to show my audience, whoever that may be, it's not much. I can be authentic, and then I can make something out of nothing. I feel like that's really important nowadays because nowadays once a content creator finds some success they just start throwing money around and, and the things just don't seem that authentic. We are literally out here on a fucking island in the middle of nowhere. Nobody is hearing me. I'm screaming very loud. This is not my inside voice. It's just me and a film guy and we're out here on a fucking island. You really want something? I've been trying to do this for four years. If you have a goal, chase it because society standards sets you up to mess up, if that makes sense. We're not catching any food right now. We may cast out in the middle of the night, I don't know. What I'm doing right now, tequila shots. We are on an island the size of my living room right now. There is nothing out here, nothing going on. So we brought tequila and tons of alcohol to keep us uh, busy. And the only way you can drink tequila, I mean, you can if you, you get it, but it's better with limes. It doesn't cut. Cutting this lime all the way through, baby. You want a half of this lime? 1800 tequila. 1800 tequila, lime, and I may go get some salt water in my mouth because I don't have salt. I almost brought salt, but I didn't bring salt. Here we go. Is it lime first? The lime did it justice. Not bad. Just throw that in the water. Biodegradable. Fruit grown from the earth. Okay. Filmer Tyler is on the phone with his girlfriend. I just created a fire. This is all we're really getting right now. We got a fire going for the night. Tyler's over there. It's about 7.15. You know, sun's gonna be going down here in, I don't know, I'd say 40, 45 minutes. I uh, kinda just getting our camp ready for the night. I don't know what we're going to expect. We're gonna get this fire here rolling. We're gonna get Tyler the Filmer here ready with some hot doggies. I'm here surviving. 
I'm basically on the Discovery Channel on another episode of Naked and Afraid, except I'm not naked. Uh, one thing that is an issue right now, we lost the lighter. I brought a lighter, a bright yellow lighter, to make sure that we have fire. I brought matches too. I almost didn't bring these matches, which is crazy. All right, we have to get this fire going. It is not staying. We cannot find the lighter. I don't know what we're gonna do. We have three matches left. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. I brought a roll of toilet paper. Obviously, if we have to take shits, but I'd rather have a fire. I think I'm gonna risk one of these three matches. Put this right here. See, all this is damp, kind of damp right here. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my God. All right, that didn't work. We have to find this lighter. He, we found it. It was in Tyler's bag. Maybe I put it in there without even thinking. I don't care. Say what you want in the comments. Do whatever you want to do. I wanted to bring a lighter. I'm not trying to fucking be... I don't know how to start a fire. Oh, yeah, dog. We have fire. This shit better light. I'm so happy we found this shit, bro. Oh, yeah, that's oh. gone. <laughs> yeah, doggy. Let's fucking go, bro. So pretty soon, we're going to bust out some flashlights. It's going to be getting pretty dark here soon. We have Filmer Tyler's uh, camp set up over here. He's going to be sleeping above the water. We have our source of fire. I don't recommend this. Uh, protects up to 10 hours. But things are looking pretty good here, man. Filmer Tyler is attempting to uh, make the fire a little bit better. Um, he's wrapping our only source of toilet paper around this stick, hoping that it catches light. I know I brought a lighter. Sue me, okay? I don't give a flying fuck. Look at that's gonna burn quick as fuck. We don't wanna lose this momentum. If we have this going right here, I'm hoping it stays, bro. This is for the filmer, Tyler, not me. <laughs> we'll see what happens when, uh, oh God damn it. That one's yours. We're cooking hot dogs over the fire. We're stranded on a deserted island, 8.30 at night. Oh my God. If things are going pretty swell like they are right now, in about 12 hours from now, a little more than 12 hours, we can check off the bucket list that we have survived on a deserted island. I think things are going pretty well right now. I think I'm just say fuck yeah, it. I are sizzling. Yeah, right. And just like that, guys, that's how you start a fire, cook some hot dogs over the fire, and I think dinner is served for tonight. We got camp set up, we got the fire, we have all of our belongings. Right now is kind of just like getting through the night and making it to the morning. I think the sun will rise around like maybe 6.30. It is currently 9.40 p.m. Tyler and I have, uh, we have been pretty well established here for about the past six hours. And this is what we got going on. Uh, we're probably gonna be getting ready for bed soon. This is where I'm gonna sleep. These aren't hammocks, apparently. These are hammock covers. So that was a huge uh, surprise to us when we opened these up. Why am I blue? What is happening? Where is this coming from? What the fuck is going on? I'm not seeing any blue. You don't see blue, bro? No, bro, you're what blue. What do you mean? You don't see blue right there, No, bro. bro. This is as real as it gets right here, guys. It is 10 o'clock at night. I am on a deserted island. Critters and bugs all around me. Me and just a film guy, we can't even get a fire started. So let's get this, uh... Why am I blue? What the fuck is this from? Bro, you are tripping. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. That's, Why am I blue? That's blue as fuck. Why am I blue? What is happening right now? Why am I blue? <laughs> Why not, are you fucking blue? Is, that is actually crazy. What is, what I is thought this? you were tripping, but no, I don't. I don't know what that is. Like my what hands are fuck? good. What is going on right now? Wait, what the fuck, oh, bro? I'm blue on my thumb, bro. No. Oh, Will you zip this up for me. Yeah, I, I think I think they made it bilingual. <laughs> Bi fucking lingual? I think it's good, man. So I'm gonna sleep like this tonight. I'm completely covered right now. Fuck <laughs> it. <up. laughs> hey, bro, you're on you're on a what is it? A 16 hour fast. That's <laughs> I was trying to do the math for it. You're on a 16 hour fast right now. Fucking. I imagine you're <laughs> I hungry, feel bro. Like I'm a fucking 16 hour fast. What the fuck? <laughs> Where's the zipper for this fucking thing, dude? Bro, go up, bro. Where's the space? Pull it up. So here I am. All right, guys. Unless something else insane happens, good night. So let's cut this shit. Let's get this fucking. You have all three. Good morning, guys. It is currently 7:34 a.m. We are not just waking up because we've been fucking waking up all night long. We were waking up like every hour. I don't even know if he got any sleep. 
his show the show the tree, show your tree. Oh shit, my bad. Tyler the filmer, his uh hammock came down in the middle of the night. Luckily the water wasn't there. You're kidding me, bro. Hold this, hold this, hold this. Stop stepping on it. Stop stepping on it. What <laughs> happened? The fucking tree branch broke. Oh, the fucking strap broke, bro. Under the strap? Oh no way. Wow, you gotta be fucking joking me. What are we gonna do now, bro? You're not gonna be able to sleep. Try that. Yeah, let's try it. Here, you got the phone? <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall and bust my ass again, bro. The... More cozy? Yeah, honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of like low. <laughs> oh my god. No, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. If seconds. this one snaps, we're fucked, bro. We have nothing else to. You're sleeping on the ground. I think I'm chilling again. Hopefully. The tide got a little bit lower throughout the night, and uh, he didn't fall into the water. But he hit his head. You hit your head where on this? But yeah, on the fucking oh, tree, fuck, bro. I was like, bro. ah. It was a little cold. If it was any colder, we would have been fucked. Everything is soaking wet. I laid in this whole thing the whole entire night. It was so uncomfortable. We fucking slept on a deserted island. And again, nobody's out here. I'm excited for the sun to come out uh, because it's fucking very damp. Everything's soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. But it's beautiful out here. We did it. We slept on an island. My foot feels swollen. Luckily, it's not bleeding anymore, so I think we're going to be okay in that department. No fucking way. All right, survive. Oh, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Oh, yeah. Survivor, man. No fucking way. Ah! I really fucking do this shit, dog. We're eating breakfast today, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a red, bro. Let's fucking go. Now that I might eat. Yeah, boy. Yeah. How's the quality on that thing? It's pretty good, on buddy. that Android. No fucking way. Oh my god, no way, buddy. That's crazy. This early in the... Fuck, no way. I'm so jealous. Get the fuck out. It's nuts. Dude, yeah, this is nuts. We're right, eating me... fucking fish for breakfast, bitch. We're surviving 24 hours on this island, motherfucker, and we're gonna eat this redfish. So I caught a redfish. I just took my sweatpants and, all my, and my jacket and shit on. Off. First fish of the day. First fish of this uh, survival challenge, and I think this is gonna be breakfast for us. So we'll probably cast out a couple more times. We caught us, I think, a legal sized redfish. Beautiful fish. Let's cast out a couple more. Insane. <laughs> what the hell? When when that was happening, we weren't filming, so Tyler pulled out his phone. I like this little this little shiner thing, bro. The wind has made it impossible to do pretty much anything but the main important thing is we cannot make a fire today everything is very very damp the fish that we caught we threw it back we're not going to be able to cook it on the fire i brought eggs and bacon and if that's something that we can figure out before 3 30 to 4 o'clock today the biggest challenge of this fucking of this uh survival challenge bro was fucking keeping track of everything and all the bags bro i swear to god we lost a lighter like fucking like five times last night i would say like Toby Keith. <laughs> Rest in peace. We did bring some eggs and bacon with us. You know, you can't blame me for bringing my own food. Sue me, okay? I don't give a fuck. Here we go. Beautiful, crack the egg. Let's get another egg going on here. Boom, that was incredibly satisfying to uh, crack. Bacon. Oh, whoa, 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 lost an egg. Fuck. Bacon does create its own grease, so you don't need to bring Pam spray, olive oil spray, whatever it may be. Olive oil spray if you shop at Aldi. Honestly, I uh, didn't think we were gonna get this fire started, but luckily uh, Tyler uh, offered his shirt. Not too bad, bro, not too bad. This is actually looking kind of fire. If you guys ever, you know, come out to a deserted island or know if the next time you're gonna be around one, bring your eggs and bacon. This is, it don't get much better than this, bro. This shit is insane. We're cooking eggs and bacon on a fire in the middle of the ocean. If that's not Florida, then tell me what is. Oh, it's cooking, it's a little scrambled. It should taste good, bro. 
Reminds me of being at the hunting camp with my dad when I was younger. About 10.58, 11 o'clock in the morning. We've been out here for approximately 20 hours, give or take. This sucks. There's nothing to do. But as we're coming to a close here, we didn't get much done. The sun is out right now and it's feeling pretty good. This was a fun experience. Everything on the bucket list is, is for a reason. I know a lot of people don't ideally want to do something like this, but like, I think this is dope, bro. This is so cool. This is so cool waking up here in the morning. The nighttime was rough, I'm not gonna lie. Nighttime was rough, it was cold. I was sleeping on the ground. Tyler was sleeping on the fucking, the hammock, but it fell multiple times on him. He hit his head on the fucking bottom of the tree. Hard as fuck, that sucks, but we made it through the night, and so we're now we're just waiting for Robbie to here to come pick us up in about five hours. And if you guys are watching this right now, I appreciate you because this is actually fucking crazy, man. Like, what the fuck? This is probably gonna get like 200 views. We might get some TikTok clips out of it, who knows? First item off the bucket list was probably a really insane one to start with, but we're going big this year, baby, we're going big. I wanna show that if you're a regular person, you can still make amazing content by being your authentic self and not having to fake it like 90% of the stuff you see online. We legitly stayed here so far for 20 hours. I don't know, bro, I, I think we're just gonna like take it easy. How's my uh, headband look? Oh, it's looking great, buddy. You're looking like, uh, what's his name, Aladdin. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. We have been here for, what, what was it, 21 and a half hours on this deserted island in the middle of the fucking Gulf of Mexico. We're running out of things to do. We are bored out of our mind. Uh, this, this is the worst thing ever. I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Yesterday when we got here, we weren't even here for five minutes. Stepped on glass, cut my foot. You know, we, we have no food. We ran out of food. We ate all the eggs. We, I brought four eggs with us. The turkey bacon, we only ate a few slices of that because we couldn't keep the fire under control. And right now, we're standing here in the water. I wish the sun, why is it doing that? Here it comes. Pine Island, our uh, local beach right here. It was closed from Hurricane Adalia. And it was closed for October to, I don't know, six months, six, seven months, whatever the fuck. Uh, it just reopened a couple days ago. People are there, people are thriving. I can see everybody having fun. And then we're over here. I'm, we're, I'm just contemplating because I want to walk over there because they have like a shack where they where they sell a bunch of food and shit. And I really want to go over there and swim across and get some food and come back. And because the food is so good there and we haven't eaten anything good in over a fucking whole day. So when we were kids though, we were a little bit more fearless and it was a little bit more shallower. So I don't really know. It's kind of sketch, bro. Like I'm usually good at like doing shit. Good at like taking up challenges and shit like that, but like I just don't know, bro. I just don't know. I wish a boat would just come and like come by and be like, hey, you need a ride to Pine Island? You look like it. I'm like, hell yeah, bro. Uh, my foot is swollen. I'm hungry. Tyler has to use the bathroom. We burned all of our toilet paper for our fire that never ended up happening. Only happened for a brief moment. We're fucked right now, kids. You have any ideas? Not really. God damn it. <laughs> when Audie told me he couldn't come, he got in a fender bender. I don't know if I said that already. He had to deal with his shit on Monday and Tuesday, yesterday and today. He had, he had to deal with those legal issues. So he wasn't able to come. It's all good. I know shit happens. When he broke that news to me, because I was so set on three people coming to do this video. And I was like, God damn it, dude. This is ruined. Um, I'm, I'm gonna cancel it. I'm gonna push it back. This was the second time we would have pushed it back if I pushed it back I tried so hard to get Tyler off of work to make sure I was off of work to make sure Audie was all, off of work All at the same time to make sure Robbie it was convenient for him for him to bring us out I Reflected on the situation. I was like nah, bro. If I really want to make a living Off YouTube and build my own brand from scratch whatever it may be I'm gonna have to go through these kinds of hardships not everyone's gonna be available all the time. The video isn't always gonna come out perfect. It's not always gonna meet your expectations, but that's what it's all about. That, that's what being a, I don't even, I don't even like to call it, call it a being a content creator. I think, I think that's kind of lame. If you wanna make shit happen, you gotta face the adversity 100 miles an hour, even if that means surviving on an island with a guy that you met at Longhorn Steakhouse a year ago for 24 hours. Uh, all right, yeah, oh my God, oh my God. Fucking thank you. All right, Christ. so it's pretty much been 24 hours. I don't really know what's going on. He didn't tell me what's going on yet. Hey! 
we've, we've been fucking sitting here for the last fucking, I don't even know how long, bro. We've just been laying on the ground, fucking staring at the sky. Then it's about 3 o'clock, 3.15ish. We officially did it. We, we didn't know he was going to pull up right away. He, I thought he was going to give us heads up. That's okay. It's even better. So we're going to pack up. We uh, dealt with a few challenges from here last night to this morning, whether it was uh, to get the fire started. You know, not losing hope when it came to trying to catch fish and really questioning our sanity. I really wanted to test my creative skills and my uh, ability to be authentic while making videos. Officially been 24 hours. Robbie's here, coming to pick us up, he's coming to save us. Surviving out on a deserted island for 24 hours. Don't do this, don't actually authentically do this. Like. I'm pretty sure Mr. Beast did not legitly do this. I know I keep bringing him up, but like, come on. For the people that are here watching, I appreciate you. It's been a wild ride. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all I really have to say. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty... Give